Whenever somebody asks who the most underrated character in the FNAF franchise is, it's usually met with a variety of different answers. Some may say Yendo, some may say one of the Trash in the Game members, some may even say one of the Phantoms. For me though, my answer to that question is an answer that I usually never see. This is definitely going to be an oddball of an answer, but I got my own reasons for thinking that Endo 01 is the most underrated FNAF character. Yes, I'm being serious. Endo 01 is, in my opinion, the most underrated character in the entire Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. This is when you include all the games, including spin-offs and troll games, all the books, everything in the official franchise. My answer is always going to be Endo 01. Now, Endo 01 has been in a few FNAF games, those games being FNAF 1, FNAF World, Help Wanted, and Special Delivery. His obvious standout appearance for me would be FNAF 1, but I will go over the other appearances real quick. For FNAF World, he appears as a playable adventure animatronic with his Endo army attack being pretty useful in battle. In Help Wanted, he appears in the backstage of the FNAF 1 level, and also even appears in the character gallery along with the others. And in Special Delivery, he actually gets quite a little bit of focus and importance with how he's the basic endo every animatronic in the game has, and he even has his own jump scare and fight. Now, like I already said, FNAF 1 is in my opinion where Endo 01 truly shines the most and is his most effective, and some people may be confused. Why? Because realistically, on a base surface, he does nothing in FNAF 1. He just sits on the table in the backstage, and that's not to even mention his appearances in the game's teaser images. However, with Endo 01, I believe there to be something about him that not many people have caught on about him. Basically, what I believe about this character and is ultimately my reason why I consider him the most underrated FNAF character is simply that he represents the stakes in FNAF 1. He's the pure embodiment of what happens to you when you die in the game. He's a lifeless endoskeleton that provides a feeling of emptiness. Basically, this will be you if you do not survive, just waiting to be stuffed in a suit. It gets even more terrifying when occasionally he can look at the camera. It's things like this that make me love FNAF 1 for its horrific atmosphere. Hot take, but I prefer Endo 01 over Endo 02, just because Endo 01 has much more mystery behind him. Endo 02 does provide mystery when it comes to lore, but Endo 01 captures a certain vibe that Endo 02 just simply can't. Endo 01 is just quite simply the most underrated FNAF character to me.